Hello everybody, thank you for pressing play on today's video. My name is Charlene Luciana and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! You guys, I have a wonderful project to share with you guys today. It is a card and a box. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Um, all these measurements will be over on my website at www.stampwithshar.com. So if you missed anything, everything will be there. Um, I just want to start off by saying this designer series paper, I actually made it myself. Um, in the holiday catalog, I ordered the Painted Harvest stamp set and totally missed this beautiful paper down below. Um, so I went ahead and made my own designer series paper. So over the next few days, I'm going to be showing you some great projects that I've done, but I've used the paper that I've made. So I'm going to show you how I made today's project. I needed a little thank you for a friend and her birthday's in August. Um, she loves Hello Kitty and this is Dignity. So I thought, hmm, I can put this in a little box with a little card, like so, and say thank you. So I'm going to show you how I did this. For this here, I'm using the clear tiny treat boxes that Stampin' Up! has. If you do not have these boxes... I will have measurements how to make a little box that you can make with designer series paper or cardstock over on my website. So the card base that I'm using today is the Thick Very Vanilla and I'm just going to fold that in half. Grab my bone folder, give it a good crease. And this is what the designer series paper looks like. I wanted to give you a little bit of a better idea. So the cardstock pieces I'm using is Garden Green. And I have this piece cut at one and a half inch by five and a half. The next piece is Early Espresso. And this is cut at one and a quarter by five and a half. And then the designer series paper is cut at one by five and a half and again all these measurements will be over on my website at www.stampwithshar.com I have my stamp and trimmer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the cardstock up at one inch and I'm gonna cut down to the two inch mark on the side of the trimmer. I'm then gonna put my paper in at three inches and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut down to the two inch mark. I'm now gonna flip my paper and at the two inches, I'm gonna bring it to the four and a half inch mark and slice up to the two and a half inch mark. And that's gonna cut away that little box piece that you need for your box. Okay, I got my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just gonna start gluing all my pieces together. Like so. I'm then going to glue this piece at the bottom. Like so. I have my stamp and pierce mat, and I have a piece of scrap whisper white paper. The, card, the inks that I'm using today are Daffodil Delight, Crushed Curry, and Early Espresso. Just a quick tip, you guys. This, is, this stamp set is what you called 
two-step stamping so one overlays over the other and gives it a some dimension um, when you want to stamp this you want to start with the lighter ink first which is the daffodil delight and I'm going to take the bigger image and I'm going to stamp the bigger image first now, when you look at it like this, you think, ooh, ooh, that, what, what happened? That doesn't look right. But when you come with the, the next stamp that goes over it, it changes the look of the flower. So I now have the crushed curry, and I'm going to go over that. And you want to line up the center of the flower I don't want to get my head in the camera and you're just going to press down and you see how it kind of changes the look of the flower how cool is that I have my early espresso and I'm now going to come in with that little centerpiece and stamp that I now have my two inch circle punch and I'm just going to punch it out. Like so. I have some copper thread, the metallic copper thread. I have some Stampin' Dimensionals. Just gonna pop some Stampin' Dimensionals on here. Bring in my card. How cute is it? I love it. If you guys need a holiday catalog, send me an email. I'd be glad to send you one. If you have placed an order with me, you will receive one. And I got my copper thread. And I am just going to put some copper thread behind my little cutout. like so and there's no right or wrong way doing this you guys you just want the copper to come out like so I'm now going to pop this over here how cute so with these little boxes, when you take them out, you will notice that it has like a film on it. And that's just to protect the box so the box doesn't get all scratched up. So when you open your box, you just want to make sure you take that film off. And you just throw that away. And then you're just going to enforce the box. Press all of this down. Give it a good press. You just really, you're creasing all the creases that are there for you. So. Alright, so I'm going to start with the bottom of the box. I'm going to push in these two side flaps. I'm then going to push in this one. And tuck this one underneath there like that and that's gonna hook the box in place I have some threads just cut out some threads and scrumpled it and put that in there like that you can even add a chocolate like so, your keychain or whatever you're going to give as a gift. 
pop that in like that. And that's it. How cute is that, you guys? Isn't that just adorable? Love it. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe, you guys. Click on the bell down below. That will notify you every time I do a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a wonderful day. Take care.